We continue our Highway 1 Coastal California adventure. This week we are in San Luis Obispo, which is a college town. It's got a great historic downtown, some nearby wineries, some great hiking trails, and I'm going to introduce you to a great local photographer who's going to show us slow, as they call it, through her eyes. San Luis Obispo is also the gateway to Big Sur, Hearst Castle, Morro Bay. You can't get there without going through slow. So, Let's go explore slow. Photographically, remember that San Luis Obispo has historically been considered the halfway marker between San Francisco and Los Angeles, a place for you to get out of your car and snap away. There are no drive throughs within the city of slow, and that's because we intentionally want people to get out and enjoy the beauty of our city. It's a very walkable downtown. Highlights include those vintage buildings up and down Monterey and Higuera Street, as well as the historic Mission and Plaza that we will get to in a minute. You've got history, gateway to all those great Highway 1 towns and the Central Coast wine country, and one other really cool factor. San Luis has been a college town since 1901. The college students are all over. It brings a vitality. It, it, brings, uh, it just brings this liveliness to the downtown area. Before we get started, know that I'm using a smartphone, just like you probably are, to get all these images. So let's quickly go over my checklist of four essential travel photo tips. As always, number one, remember to have a fully charged battery before you leave and travel with an accessory power brick, which you can pick up for $20 or so on Amazon for extra power. Number two, clean your lens before you shoot. And remember, number three, that when you're out there to photograph from every possible angle, left, right, above, and below, one of them is going to serve you well, and because it's digital, you have the room to explore. That is, number four, if you have room on your camera. Too many people leave home without checking their storage first and end up getting those awful nag messages. You know what they say, no room to take any more photos. Ugh. Now, I eliminate that problem by subscribing to Smugbug, the sponsor of this series, where all my photos are automatically backed up so I can safely make room on my phone without them being deleted in the cloud. SmugMug's app has a feature called Automatic Uploads for iOS and Android that adds every photo and most videos you take after you've snapped them. Subscriptions start at $75 yearly, they cost less than Apple or Google's full plans, and they have one major huge advantage. How does unlimited upload sound? So remember I promised we were going to see slow through the eyes of a great local photographer who knows all the best spots. Say hi to Renata Campbell. Hello everyone. <laughs> Renata promised me to show me not just one spot, but many because... There are so many locations in San Luis Obispo that are beautiful. It's just really, really hard to choose. So the first place you want to go is downtown, which is the San Luis Obispo de Tolosa Mission. Down here we have what's called Bubblegum Alley. The Creamery is another great place to photograph, um, great muralists, great paintings. And then if you're going to go off the beaten path, you want to go to some parks. So near um, the Madonna Inn is a park called Laguna Lake Park. And it's rocky, you have a lake, um, it's just an absolutely beautiful location to photograph. The great thing about everything that you just pointed out is we're going to do it together. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show folks uh, where, where these spots are, maybe how to get some great shots there. Let's start with the mission. It was built in 1772, so before the United States was even the United States of America. I do some in the middle. Um, I try to start in the middle because you have so many people coming around, and then you actually shoot from the sides so that you can get uh, more detailed shots of the specifics that you need for your shot. So you just step right in front. No, no special, I'm going to the left, I'm going to the right, just straight in front. The way that I work is I like to get that the straight up first and then I move to from side to side because you never know if you're going to have people walking through the shot. So you're gonna be is that okay? The trucks in the back aren't bothering you? Uh, the trucks are not going to be in the background. Okay. I just turn the phone that way and there's no truck. Excellent. There's no truck. If I'm this way, I got a truck. Yes, I was going to say, let's, let's tell the viewers what yeah. not to, how to yeah, avoid all you have to do, extraction. It's just a very simple shift. Mm -hmm. Truck. No truck. Yes, yes. Very simple, and you have a beautiful, historic, wonderful 
natural light mm -hmm. in beautiful setting. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be your groom. You're my groom. Tell me where. So I'd like you at a 90 degree angle with your feet. Am I standing or sitting? You are standing. I'm standing. Let's have you a little bit closer to the, um, the yeah, there. Perfect, okay, awesome. You said something about my buttons. What right, you... so I just want you to, yeah, like you're getting ready. Perfect. Oh, I'm fiddling with you're my buttons. You're fiddling, yes. Yeah. You are fiddling. Okay. Not looking at me. Right, I'm looking at There off. you go, yeah. thinking about your beautiful oh, partner. Yeah. Okay, let's let's you have your hands in your pockets with your thumbs out. Thumbs out. Thumbs okay. out. There now, we go. Now tell everybody why we go thumbs out. We go thumbs out. It just gives a nicer, sleeker look. And as I, opposed to that. As opposed to that. Yes, uh -huh. where your hands look like they've just been eaten by pants. Done. But this is really cool. You get the mission here. You do your photos of the right. mission, and you walk right next door. Yes. And you've got this wonderful foliage, right? Yes. Yes. and water running. Mm -hmm. It's a great place for portraits. And it's a beautiful bridge as well. The worst time of the day is taking pictures is between 10 and 5. Uh, and people struggle because mm -hmm. when they do portraits of people, mm -hmm. they look like raccoons with giant shadows and it just looks absolutely horrendous. And look at us right now. Yeah, we're in the shade. Yes. With greenery behind us. With greenery and all behind we had to us. do was go one block from, uh, was it Monterey? It's, um, yes, Monterey. Mm -hmm. Right, one block behind the mission, we have this beautiful little area. So. Exactly. Yeah. The Creamery is another great place to photograph. Um, great muralists, great paintings. This butterfly. Uh, this is a photo, huh? Yep, this is definitely a photo okay. op where people are usually wanting to be photographed. This wall is what people love. We're here. Slow, irresistible. This is when you know you're in San Luis Obispo. You know, I'm at ultra wide and I can barely get <laughs> no. a, a portion of it. So what do people do? Um, you have to shoot at an angle. <laughs> so I usually shoot at this, at this angle. Show people the ultimate bubblegum alley shot. <laughs> well, I should have a huge wad of bubblegum in my mouth, um, but I would be doing something, you know, like blowing a bubble next to Bubblegum Alley, taking it out and putting it on the wall. And knowing that that fresh bubblegum is yours and that's gonna be on this wall for eternity. And if you didn't have bubblegum? Be in the middle and then try and shoot both sides. Um, you don't, of course, wanna to touch the walls, but you could do something like this. Um, and, you know, and just doing more generic uh, poses. Um, just that you're just in this great small wall space and you can utilize poses from either direction as long as you have, you know, the two leading lines, which are the two walls. Secret Garden, and this is just a space for people just to be, it's just a serene place for people to walk around in the midst of, sometimes the Madonna Inn can be very crazy, so it's just a place to relax. So the sun comes down really beautifully right here, and um, you're just, you know, walking with your, your partner or your friend, and you're just laughing and just thinking about what a beautiful location that you have here. And you don't have to get married to enjoy this picture. You could you could be a couple that's been married for a long time. You exactly. Could be, you could be on a first date. Exactly. Right. Um, I've also photographed family shoots right here with the kids. So it's just beautiful greenery for the kids to play. But gee, isn't this so non-Madonna Inn? It's not <laughs> crazy, it's not pink, it's not wild. The Madonna Inn has has different facets. So they have the beauty, the flowers are pink or purple or have some hue to it. But yeah, this is just the park-like setting that I believe the Madonnas felt that they wanted to have for their guests. If you're gonna get the iconic shot inside, where do we go? Do we go to the restaurant? No, you go to the pink bar. Uh, the Madonna Inn has amazing uh, baked goods between from their cookies to their cupcakes, but they're known for their cakes, especially their pink champagne cake. We're at the, is it the Copper Cafe? Copper Cafe. Copper Cafe. Mm -hmm. There's 
so much stuff to look at. Yes. If, I mean, <laughs> I know, pink sugar crystals? Yes. Everything's pink. Yes, right? it is. It's amazing. Um, if you come to San Luis Obispo, everybody knows they have, have to come to here. You have to come here. You have to come here. There's nothing like it. Every Correct. room is different. There's a hundred different rooms, I think. And um, it's just, it's like the one in Las Vegas in the Central Coast, basically. Exactly. It's, it's kitschy. It's a fun 50s. 60s type of location that everyone loves to come to, yes. Yet every couple that gets your services for a wedding wants to come. Wants to come here, yes. Photo tip recap time. Remember that besides watching shows like this to get ideas, a visit to a local tourist office will give you plenty of great inspiration as well. Okay, tips. The mission. Get a standard shot of the exterior and the steps before it gets crowded with people. Then you can get creative. Try the mission from every angle. Then step into the garden area behind the mission and make use of the shade and beautiful Spanish structure of the buildings for great portraits. Try portrait mode on your phone to blur the background. Then keep walking down to the creek for more great environmental portraits. Scenics, the best overhead shot of the San Luis Valley is at Terrace Hill, where again, panoramas work best to capture the widest of angles. Just turn on panel modes, press start, and pan across without moving your feet. Then click the shutter button to stop. Murals, shoot them at an angle because when you stand right in front of them, you will not be able to pick up the whole thing unless you shoot in panorama mode. The best murals are at the Creamery and behind the Fremont Theater. City buildings, you're documenting history, so look for features that appeal to your eyes. For me, it's the old workmanship that went into these 100-year-old buildings. You just don't see stuff like this anymore. Daytime is fine, but downtowns will always look cooler just after sunset when the neon lights get turned on and you have the soft, ambient light of the early evening. Now, on the flip side, you want to shoot in bright sunlight to make the wild colors of the Madonna Inn jump, and you have plenty of material to work with. And for Bubblegum Alley, bring some gum with you, blow a bubble, stick a little piece of it up on the wall, and if you forgot to bring gum with you, just make use of our little alley. Look like you're putting your hands in the alley to make use of the lines. I want to thank you for doing this with me today. Thank you for, for having showing me. me your slow. My slow. Don't call it SLO. <laughs> nope. Don't call it San Luis. No, it's San Luis. For folks who want to find out more about you, yes. tell, tell them where to go. Um, you can go to my website, which is um, photosbyrc.com, or on Instagram, it's Renata Campbell Photo. Thank you, everyone, for watching. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, at Jefferson Graham. Don't forget to subscribe to the Photo Walks TV YouTube channel. And um, stay tuned as I tell you where we're going next. Next time on Photo Walks, as we continue our Highway 1 adventure, Morrow Bay, the little town with the big rock. So stay tuned. I hope to see you in Morrow Bay. Thanks for watching, everyone. So you know how we already said goodbye? <laughs> But how could you not have a piece of this amazing chocolate cake? It's built for four people. <laughs> yes. So thank you for staying with me. You're going to have most of this. I'll just have a bite. Uh, no, it's the other way around. Really? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. so now we're going to get a shot of us, uh, that first bite. Yes. As opposed to our first look, yes. right? Yes. Mm. Very good. Very good. Well, thanks again. <laughs> <laughs>